still really disappointed about Judgment Day losing at War Games. Like, I get the significance of Cody winning and and Randy being there. Um, but I think for me, it's more, it's not even necessarily about the fact that Judgment Day lost war games. I think it's more about I'm frustrated at how often they're losing. That is mm-hmm. what is just like driving me insane because um, I'm I'm just confused about how Triple H is so openly supportive and like in awe kind of of what the Judgment Day have done in the past year. And so it just doesn't really make any sense to me that we're supposed to believe that they're the most dominant group in all of WWE and you keep having them lose. Like I'm not, we've said that they were almost like comparable to the Bloodline, but on Raw and the Bloodline wasn't losing, you know? So I'm just like, and that was why... It, you know, for the most part, they were, they're a feared or they were a feared group, like, because they don't lose. They did Mm -hmm. anything that they had to do to make sure that they won out, even outside of Roman. I mean, the Usos weren't losing either. Solo's not losing either. So it's not just like, Oh yeah. It's like, so it wasn't just efforts to protect Roman. It was the group as, you know, a collective. So I just kind of wish that they would let, the judgment day win at, i think it's mostly like at pay-per-views because like yeah they've won and you know they won the the tag titles they lost them and then they won them back but then it's like every other pay-per-view it's like they're losing and they're losing and they're losing and then I'm like then they, then they go out on raw two days later and say we're still the most dominant faction in all of wwe and it's like are you though like you keep losing and when you're basically under the brightest lights so it's like I don't know. It just seems to like interfere. Like it's counterproductive. It feels like. Do you think that a CM Punk return forced them to scrap a Judgment Day win or even Damian Priest cashing in? Um, I don't know. I think, I think it it might have been more about like uh. I think that might have been involved in the decision. Obviously, I think the fact that Cody was in the in the match, I think, could have been a reason. I think Randy um, being back, and then you know the handful of them or whoever knew that Punk was going to be coming back and potentially yeah. overtaking the hype of Randy being back. It was like, okay, well, we can't have the, we can't have Randy come back and be excited about that, then have him lose, and then have his return overshadowed by Punk. You know. Um, and I get it. Like more things go into decision making when it comes to outcomes of matches and whatnot than just like, oh, who should win, who shouldn't win. I just, and that's why I'm saying, like, I get in this instance why Judgment Day didn't win in War Games. Like, if this was how it was going to go down, then that's fine. But it's like, but why do they have to lose at every other pay per view before this? You know, like, why do they keep losing? That's the thing. That's like. I just I don't get it because the, and then we have them on Raw being like it's fine we lost War Games because we're still the champion and I'm like so then like they didn't even give a crap that they, they lost didn't. no they they so, didn't but so Priest it, did yeah and so that's the thing is like it's so confusing as someone who's like actually a fan of Judgment Day even though you're technically not supposed to be yeah it's, exactly it's like really weird I don't know I like this comment. The loss drives the story of Damian Priest being kicked out. I feel like they've been doing it so much, though. Like, it's just like there's yeah, been yeah. little hints of this so much, and I feel like we're not really necessarily any closer. But maybe we are. I don't know. Um, especially because the way Damian was acting, it was like he was so paranoid, and then it ended up being like, no, like they don't care. Did you see that look that Rhea gave him? No, I know. No, I know, especially when, they, when he left. That's what I mean, like... Yeah. At first, I feel like it was whoa, like David chill out by everyone. Mm-hmm. But then Rhea left, and like a thought, a light bulb went off in her head mm-hmm. in a way. Like, mm-hmm. oh, he's he's this upset about the loss. Mm-hmm. Is he really elite? Like, I think yeah. just little little nuances like that mm-hmm. will help progress the story further. Mm-hmm. Especially in this case, where you have that dynamic of who's the real leader, who's the one really making deals. You have the ass kicker, and you yeah. have the brains behind the operation. It's 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 